How's it going, gamers? Hope you're having a good evening. Or whatever time of day it is for you. Uh, what's the Knight's Puzzle mind trick? I don't know. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Can you can you can you elaborate? I am unfamiliar. Um anyway, hey, what's up? We're playing some DNT. Uh we I am playing a slightly modified list. Again, just working a little bit on this saga list with the light green splash. Um the main differences here are that I just went ahead and cut the Gaddic Teagues. Um, I just want to see how... I've, I've honestly been like a little bit close to cutting the Teagues, at least specifically online, given the low density of good Teague decks that I've been playing against. Um, so I just decided to go for it and see if I get punished. You know, we'll see what happens. Um, in their places, um, the Haywire Might that was in the sideboard moved to the main deck. Um, I have it on... Uh, having a good confidence that the Haywire Mate is pretty good in the main deck. Um, and then they gave us three sideboard slots, which turned into the fourth Pick Your Poison, because that card was obviously really good last time but we played against a lot of delver but the more copies we play the more we can play with it kind of like what i did with cabal therapy the first time um a soul guide lantern because i think it might be valuable to have a a graveyard hate card that can come off of saga and specifically be good against delver clearing their yard because we didn't we kind of didn't have a good tool for that. We kind of just had to get Shadow Spear and that was it. Um, and my wife specifically has been playing a lot of Rescaminator lately and kept getting very frustrated by Fairy Macabre. So she wanted me to play one. So here I am. I'm fine. I'm, I'm going to try it out. Um, you don't think two Lion Sash is as good as one Sash and one pre-war formal wear? I agree. I fully agree with you, Chyleth. Uh, are we trying the bird from Outlaws of Thunder Junction? No, we are not. I don't think that card is very good. Um, but I will be writing about that card in my article that's going to be coming up pretty soon. Um, um, I think that there's reason to believe that the Macabre is better than the fourth Ley Line, um, specifically because we're playing a deck that can't actually cast Ley Lines. <laughs> so... Um, a, it's, it's like you, the, the reasonings I see are you can actually draw it. You can recruit for it. Um, the only card that they have that interacts with it at all is grief. And obviously they do grief you a lot, but they don't grief you that often. Um, and like, usually when they grief you, there's like four different cards that they kind of have to deal with and that just this just increases the density of it so um it's also a ley line that works against your stuff getting reanimated if you need it to hey gabs how's it going anyway so yeah this is what we are gonna try out tonight and we'll see how it goes Reanimate Lauren, kill kill Leyline, that'd be gross. That would be nasty. Got your formal wear today, hell yeah. I gotta order my second, honestly. Thankfully they are very cheap, but basically impossible to get other than online, so at least for me. Uh yeah, we're gonna keep this. Excuse me. Hey, Jared. What's up? Int. 
too polluted delta. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to cast my Mother of Runes. Hey, Lackey, how's it going? Yeah, I mean, stores don't... Or people don't really have it because I don't I don't know. There's not much of a reason to buy the Fallout packs or the or the like the dumb like the decks, right? And like piece them out. Basically, only stores are gonna do that. And it's EOT brainstorm, which isn't a good sign, but they haven't done anything yet. They're just pondering. Okay, hell yeah. No, never mind. Is it Doomsday? No, it's Storm. Okay, yeah, there they go. I was like, how do they get there? But yeah, the 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 LED and sacrificing the lotus petal. There we go. They got it. They got the right card. All right. Well, I sure would like to have Gaddic Teague here, but I think this is in general just a matchup that we're definitely weaker against without black cards. Um, we board in all of those. And then have more cards to board out than we really can bring in. Um, Yeah, we just have like nine different ways to interact with our graveyard, and that's about it. Um, probably get rid of a Skyclave. I guess getting rid of a Solitude probably makes more sense than a Skyclave, yeah. Uh, Deafening Silence isn't here because it's not good against like any deck that's actually played right now. Um. No, this hand doesn't do anything. This hand does something. Keeping this, I think bottoming a saga probably? I'm just going Mom Thalia. Yeah, I think that's right. Need to get not turn one. Which feels yeah, well, okay, that sucks too. Um Thoughtsies bug, Thoughtsies bug. No. It's honestly not that bad though. Graveyard Hate is pretty pretty strong against these versions of Storm. They can certainly win through it, but it's harder. It's not... Uh, I don't think that there are very many bad Dark Ritual arts. It's not my favorite. I like the Masks one the most.
Yep. Mm-hmm. That is cancer number three. I assume they're just like digging for a rest in peace answer, probably. There's like, it's, like I said, there's certainly a chance that they like can win through it, but it's definitely harder. Um, I'm not going to reveal green mana because I don't even have any green cards <laughs> in my deck now. So I guess I have Haywire might, but I'm not using that here, so it's fine. Is this a dress down? No, okay. Interesting. I have a fairy macabre, huh? So what do I do here? Um... Graftigris Cage is basically a second rest in peace, but also the Fairy Macabre does more or less the same thing. So I don't think that I want a third piece of Graveyard Hate versus getting a Shadow Spear. That means that they have to make like a ton more Storm. I think that's where I'm at. Yeah. Graftigger's Cage doesn't stop Beseech, but it does stop Gaia's will. And most Beseech lines go through Gaia's will, so. It is very annoying how many cards are worded specifically to not work against Graft Digger's Cage. I don't think it's their intent when they do it, but like, I don't know. <laughs> Feels like Cage should be better than it is sometimes. All right, Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Lotus Petal, LED, probably Beseeching, Beseech three times. Which is exactly 20, which means that we can solitude one of our constructs. Hell yeah. Uh, oh, I think actually it's possible Solitude's better than better than Scarab Swarm here. Neither are good, but sometimes Solitude is good for for situations exactly like that. It's a turn to Thalia, but nothing else. But does that matter in our deck? I think no, because uh, so we're mulling. To, we we're basically mulling to 
five cards that w that would like matter before our second turn because it's three ley lines one or six because three ley lines one fairy macabre one cage one uh one um soul guide lantern um and my opponent has already mulligans to six. Six cards is not a lot. I'm going to keep and die, I think. Uh, why no Mobile Master? I'm just I'm just trying a different build of the deck. Uh, speaking of which, I never updated my stream decker. Whoops, let me do that real quick. Hold up, hold up. I'm only to five. Hell yeah. Okay. Upload new. There we go. Stream Decker is updated. Do -do. Hey, Strifa, how's it going? Like Bowmaster is a great card. I am just trying a build of the deck that is trying to do something different and can't really support black mana. Thought sees me, huh? Well, they're probably not going off this turn then. Their hand would have to be pretty stacked for them. Um, if they go off this early. Certainly could, but it's not a lot of cards, that's for sure. Um, and they need to go off by their next turn, because otherwise I'm just going to recruit for Athalia and vial it in. So. Well, is that better than playing mana for Recruiter? They kept the card on top with the Undercity Sewers. Uh, yeah, I think we have to Wasteland them. Another brainstorm, okay, okay. Buy you. Okay. Well they're brainstorm locked. So that's good for me. Imagine if Skyclave was just a stone rain on a 2-2. Let's calm down. Let's chill out. Uh-oh. Oh, thank god. Okay. Give me one. Goodbye. Oh my god, all the planes. Is this a dress down? Wild. Uh... 
Um, I'll put in Skyclave as a 2 2 then. And then we'll follow them next turn, hopefully. Let's see, catching up. Uh, it was very funny when I was hearsing against DNT and had to take lands first. Yeah, yep. Mm -hmm. You do have to do that. Oh no. Exactly enough because I fetched twice. Oh no, they can they can cantrip for free, so never mind. Well, this is exactly the kind of deck that this build is intentionally worse against, so we're gonna die sometimes, it's okay. Immediately punished for cutting Gaidic Teague, but unclear that it would have really mattered there. We do not have Mr. Teague. Just experimenting with cutting him and seeing how much we get punished for it. And of course, round one against Storm. I'm not, Chyleth, we're not doing that energy. None of that. Uh, the blue build with Force of Will and Spell Queller. Uh, does not exist because all the blue cards are bad. <laughs> you can't play them in any density that's good enough. We can work with this. Can we stop? Oh my god. I was thinking it was probably going to be reanimator. Yeah. swords or solitude off the top and the game's basically over nice now there we got thoughts he is bugged or were the or were we the thought sees bugger? All right, let's get our first lion sash. Hopefully we don't have to show them the second, although I don't think it's really going to change any of their decisions. Wasteland, get out of here.
Just a lot of basic swaps over there. Uh, that doesn't do what you want it to do. I have bad news for you. Yep, and they have conceded. All right, let's bring in all of these. Uh, don't want GTA, don't want Skyclaves, don't want Lauren. I don't think we want pick your poison since they're more mono black risk emanator. There's a lot of misses on those. Um, we probably don't want a haywire mite. They're a wasteland deck, so I don't want to cut any lands. These spirits look pretty bad, huh? Yeah, this looks right. Right, yeah, that it is less all in. Like it, it is rescam, it is not pure reanimator, even though they are playing Dark Ritual. And sometimes it will just reanimate a troll, and you'll have a pick your poison in your hands, and it won't ever do anything. True, they may also play Shieldred. Pick your poison, but your opponent chooses a creature with menace. Now we're talking. Uh, this is basically as good as a hand without ley line could possibly be. And my opponent is mulliganing to six, so I'm going to keep this. <laughs> is a bottle of mustard? No. I've. It is uh, a Burt's Bees water bottle. It's like a like a chapstick tube enlarged. It's my favorite brand of chapstick. I like it quite a bit. Wasteland pass. So you're a cycling troll, huh? That's what I'm hearing. No, it's I I promise you, it's water. It's very much water inside of this water bottle. Hey dude, just how's it going? Welcome, welcome. I'm doing pretty well. Grief pitches in tomb, okay. You got it. Take the solitude again. I'm glad they let me exile two creatures with this. <laughs> I 
I'm <laughs> just keep drawing solitudes. That's really funny. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna give them one more turn to to put anything into play, and then we'll just solitude it if they do, and then the game's over. Hey, look, the game's over. Another wasteland? That's ridiculous. Um, I'm just going to get my solitude out of my yard so that there's a possibility I won't even have to hold up mana. We'll see. Urza Saga, huh? How many graveyard hate cards did they bring in? I don't know, like nine. If if there's if it's in my sideboard, I brought it in. I think there's at least like six or seven of them. Urborg. Wild. All right. Now my planes are broken. No. Hooray, my planes are fixed. Yeah, we can fix them. We sure can. Uh, we're already 0-1 because I cut Gaddick Teague and then immediately queued into Besiege Storm because that's just how it goes. But then we played against Reanimator and it was not close. Queuing into Existential Dread. Okay, all right, 61 cards. Um, I think they double wastelanded because they just had literally nothing to do otherwise. And if they let if they let me cast more spells, it doesn't really get easier for them. We'll keep this. I'm not necessarily saying it's right, but like, you know. I think that's that is the reasoning I see for them choosing to keep wastelanding. I didn't expect an island deck or a turn one not even fetching basic island deck to have 61 cards, but we'll see what that means. Yeah, dread return, dread of night. Brainstorm locked and didn't find permission for this vial. Okay, okay. Flooded strand.
You got it. I believe in you. Mm. Got it. March of Otherworldly Light. Do I play Spirit first or do I play Thalia? I think I play Spirit first specifically because I can play Thalia protected by Caracas next turn. The fairy is the one punish, but I'm not even really sure that that on its own is a good enough reason. believe in you opponent okay they don't believe in themselves gonna two for one yourself on this no Yeah, sure. To fair as that play the planeswalker, I really don't love using Skyclave on, but this these decks give us like almost no targets for this card anyway. And Teferi can get an annoying amount of value if you never deal with it, so... Okay... Force of Will... <laughs> Not... The time, Springly Strum. Um, what do we want to do here? I think we want to go double two drop. I'm just not sure which one. I think I want to cast the Thalia first. That might be. enough for them to force. And if it's not, yeah, I'll just, I'll just play the spirit. Hmm. Maybe there's no blue card? Maybe they have Verdict in their hand. I guess that's a possibility. Prismatic Ending. Okay. I would really like to draw an Urza Saga, please. It's like a really good matchup for that card. Mm 
Back to basics. Okay. Let's start with the swords on this, I guess. It was kind of looking like a back to basics deck, but I'm glad that they confirmed it for me at least. I think I, yeah, I just want to play the Sash to get more pressure into play. Look, it it doesn't matter what year it is. Somewhere out there, there's going to be a Jeskai player with Back to Basics in their deck. At least once a month. I'll keep the lands in their deck for now, probably. If they do end up having a... Uh, whatchamacallit. Um, days undoing, then like the lands in their deck are basically dead draws, so... Um, I just want to be safe against Wrath effects, so I'm going to reconfigure here. There's the Terminus. And that is why we reconfigure, folks. Is this Lorien revealed? Okay. Wastelands, or do I think I just want to hold up a hard cast solitude here so that I can get a second threat into play if I need to? Arrest, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Hope you're having a good evening. I have never heard of a good two man enchantment in control, doesn't exist. I was wondering if they were going to have Mystic Sanctuary. Thankfully, I have the counter for that, I guess. No Solitude happening now, but that's okay. The fact that they were even doing that means that their hand must not deal, or probably doesn't deal with the Lion Sash. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. I'm 
declaration of not what a what a deep cut. This a fourth for some number, it sure is. Dogs dogs are going off, dogs are going off. Fourth for four. Okay, okay. Attacking with two. You got it. Evan True Lover, thanks for the follow. Uh, little, little thrown off by that, but thank you. Um, yeah, I'm gonna swords one of these. I wonder if this is gonna trigger them to finally use this force of will. It does not. Okay. And then. I unfortunately can't threaten lethal this turn. But I am going to make my sash a bit larger anyway. There we go. There's an Urza Saga, even though this back to basics sure makes it feel worse. Um, There's the force, pitches a ponder, okay. Force the block. They might be able to take it away from us. We drew a few too many removal spells, not enough pressure, but we still might make it. Hel hello, Jax. Hello. My beverage. Thank you so much. Another Narset. Not really what I wanted to see. Yes, there's the plowshares, yeah. This is what I was worried about. I can't show Jax. The camera just won't reach. My opponent is taking forever to make these game actions, which is one possible way to get out of this. We also draw another solitude, huh? Um... I think it's worth it just casting this spring leaf drum. It's kind of embarrassing, but it will make our constructs bigger. It will also make it so that we can actually cast the solitude once we lose the Urza Saga. Sorry, constructs. I should say construct. And they get a dress down. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Um... I'll make them use it now, I guess. Yeah. I guess Haywire might does deal with back to basics, huh? Mm. Yeah, this is fine.
I was going to do this anyway, so that's fine. Still gonna have a hard time winning this game, but they're making it take so much longer for them for themselves. sort of six removal spells with the march. There's a terminus that they've already exiled. Another Narset, sure. Um, they might not have another Sanctuary. A lot of the basic heavy Jeskai lists only have one because it's actually kind of hard to support Sanctuary when you assume you have to get a basic planes in basically every matchup. It is actually starting to look like they might be out of ways to win the game. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, I'm supposed to attack them. That was dumb. I forgot that Monarch is in play. I have a feeling this is going to die anyway, but that was wrong. Yeah, Snapcaster. They definitely, unless they just drew that Snapcaster, they were absolutely supposed to Snapcaster fourth. I guess they can Snapcaster fourth now because they have the they have to ferry. So they can Snapcaster fourth for three. I guess I maybe should have opened by wasting the volcanic. That might have been smart. I force the Yorion pitching another back to basics. All right. Perfect, perfect. Um, if my opponent continues to play at the pace that they are playing right now, no, they will not win game three or game win game two. Yeah, we still still got Lush Portico, so we will be fetching at the end of their turn. Okay, they do have St. Katie in their deck. Took forever for them to find it, and now we don't have any removal left. What do we get? 
Caracas. Goodbye. They go to clean up there at seven cards. I just only just now realized that. Been a force of will. Hey, mother of runes. Let's go. They have 840 to win game two. Once again, Gaddic T would be amazing here, of course. Uh, but let's see what we can do. Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> um, Hey, Strass Daddy, how's it going? Hope you had a good stream. Welcome, everybody. Like, I guess that's it. <laughs> um, Could a skyclave. Oh wait, I already, <laughs> I already cut two cards. What was the second card I cut? Oh right, I already cut the other pick your poison. That's what I was forgetting about. Uh, what do I think of the Samwise Rallier version? I haven't seen that deck, uh, but I don't particularly like Samwise, nor do I like Renegade Rallier, so I probably will not think very highly of it. Unfortunately. Um, I'll keep this. Cast Stone Forge on two, Recruiter on three. Uh, this is a build of DNT that is closer to monocolor. Uh, I, you know, I I am still like playing the black and green splash actively in paper. I still think that deck's great. I'm just trying this out right now because I don't really have a lot to work on until Modern Horizons 3 comes out, basically. So we're just having fun with it for a bit. And we are Cauldre Trekken. In my opinion, is Mono White a thing of the past? Um, I think as it stands right now in Legacy, I feel like a plain old mono white build has a hard time keeping up with what the format is doing right now. That is my full take. Is it a thing of the past? Is it obsolete? No, I think that's speaking too strongly. I think it is still a playable deck. I just think that you need to be doing something a little bit more than mono white to really compete against the top decks right now. Are they gonna let this Cauldra come into play and then Swords the token? No. They're just taking it. Okay. No GTA needed. Spring drawing the drum again. 
gross. Um, I think I am going to recruit for a solitude to answer this triumph. I guess I don't I don't necessarily need it to be a solitude. I can just block, but I do want to make progress, and so I want I want to get solitude for that reason. Um, I should also actually cast this drum. Like I, I want to, I will need to have a permanent answer for this triumph eventually, and that's kind of why I want to get the solitude. If I'm lucky, though, they'll at least like attack, thinking that it won't be bad for them, because blue control players love forgetting how first strike works. I guess forgetting is given might even be giving them too much credit. Lane's opponent said his husband was playing red way in it. The classic control deck and just kill him deck marriage. I love that. I love that that's an archetype. Hey, Romario, how's it going? Congrats. You, you won a challenge this weekend, right? Am I remembering that right? I know you did really well. I just couldn't remember if you won or not. Oh, well, that's even better than Solitude. Very happy for that to be the card that they're swordsing when I'm putting Yorian into my hand this turn. Uh, give yourself more credit than that. Congratulations either way. Um, yeah, next time you meet a magic, magic couple, you ask who's the beatdown. That's that's the truth. Why are they casting an end step brainstorm here? Or end step dress down. What did I say? Brainstorm. Okay. Well, there better be a force of will over there, buddy. Although that that might not matter if I find a land, because yeah, I am only one mana. Oh, they. Had no, they have a representing swords to plowshares, so never mind. Uh, they've played islands. The triumph was from, yeah, okay. Caracas would be nice. No. Yeah, I think the equip line is just too greedy into swords to plowshares, unfortunately. And yeah, with my opponent so low on clock, I think there's just not a good good enough reason to to take that risk. I could also just like skyclave this Jace instead, but I think I want a Yorion. Yorion here is just very good. Cool. Um Yeah, I can flicker this Soul Guide Lantern. What do you know? value 
I'll hit their swords to plowshares. I think this recruiter's probably getting a wisp just to reset the um, cauldra after a potential terminus. Yeah, that seems right. And then the stone forge will get a sash so that I also have a creature after that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, many over here. Maybe that was too obvious after they brainstormed with the Jace and then, I don't know. Hard to say. Sanctuary, putting ponder on top. Sure, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not even going to bother cracking my soul guide into that. I'm going to start by skyclaving the Jace. Gets a force will out of their hand, which does not surprise me. And then I can cast Wisp, Wisp the Cauldra, and then I can also cast Sash. And just have multiple creatures in play. Where's Luna to call Germ Token a magic card? <laughs> Monastery Mentor, and then Ponder's the other card, right? Yeah. Yep, that's fine. It's kind of foolish of them to tap both their planes for that. I'm not going to be equipping to Flickerwiss this turn. I'm just solituding the Mentor because the only way they win this game in enough time is this Mentor goes off. So I'm just going to solitude this right away. Um, the One White Bird in OTJ, not a fan. Um, I am writing about it in my article that will be coming up soon. Uh, just doing like a mini, like a so we're sort of catching up on card reviews because I hadn't really talked about it very much in depth since Lord of the Rings came out. Um, but yeah. I will have things to say, none of them very good about that card. Other than the fact that I think it's cool that they figured out how to print exile target spell on a white card. I think that part from a design standpoint is cool. But otherwise, there we go, yeah, cool. Uh, you should be able to type exclamation point Patreon to get a link to my Patreon.
swords on the wisp. Okay. I will make a white mana with that. Resolves. Mentor dies. I'm going to activate Sash. Hitting their dress down. And I can now attack the Jace pretty freely. If they want to double block, that's fine too. Um, actually, I should keep uh, I should keep my graveyard full for um, for a potential scarab swarm. That should be there. You go. Come on, let's go. Oh yeah, I missed this guy, Clave. Yep, I could have done that. But what if pre-war formal wear was in our deck? I'm just gonna attack both the Jace. Wear my sash. That's messed up. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't think it really matters, but I'm just gonna get spells out of their yard that could get theoretically snapcastered. Do I even have anything to get? I do have a Shadow Spear, <laughs> sure. Oh no, I could have cast the Shadow Spear, I'm a fool. Narsa, yeah, you got it, you got it. Kozilix Return. It will, in fact, be an 0-1 victory. Finally draw a card that does, like, anything. Okay. Well, I guess I won. It doesn't feel like a win, but... Yeah, I will not be I will not be BMing my opponent in chat. I've like never really thought Jeskai was good in like any form since Modern Horizons 2 really and it's just funny how like every time they iterate on it it's like they make it even worse at winning the game I feel like there was a spike when 4th came out where people were like oh yeah we can play 4th and that'll be the way we win and then that just like stopped happening <laughs> uh yeah we can keep this
underground sea. Interesting, interesting. Really wanted to draw a land and not a sky clave, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's fine. Didn't even use the mana off of it. He's going to pass to me again. I love that. Okay, deck, I would like a third land, please. Yep, makes sense. Yeah, I was really hoping they wouldn't have force, but that's how it goes. Um, Never didn't have it. Crossed, crossed fingers. You just have nothing else. Doesn't feel very likely, but we'll see. I'm very glad I got two basic lands. Ooh. Well, unfortunately, I have like six really good cards against this, and I've already gone through three of them. This is not the third land I wanted to draw. Uh, do I keep that on top? I think I do, yeah. Still got two Wisps and four Recruiters to find them in the deck. I cannot Yorion Solitude. Yorion specifically says you must both control and own the card. This looks like a hard cast grief. It's a lot of pressure, but that is exactly why I didn't bother putting Yorion in my hands, because it kind of looked like that's what was going to be coming up. Really had to come home and play play more magic. I didn't play magic today. Flicker Wisp? Flicker Wisp? Uh, I'll take that. Uh, let's get a quick exclamation point formal wear in here. I would love to formal wear for Skyclave on this board. <laughs> uh, I think this has to just be a cauldron track. I think we're dying a little too fast for Sash to be realistic.
yeah, we're cauldron. Yeah, it's like two two wins, you get like half the entry. At three wins, you get your entry back plus like a tiny bit. And then it goes up from there. Yeah, formal wear is confirmed very sick. It's so good. <laughs> Ugh. Flicker Wisp, please. That ain't it. I have to put yarn in my hand at this rate. I think that Scarab Swarm is our best draw by a lot. Um, I think we can't really afford to draw lands. I guess maybe, uh, yeah, no, we're done. I think we needed that that I mean that, that fourth lands to not be a fetch land for a, another lands to be a good draw, but we did not have it. We'll board in all these, take out that, take out the Thalias. What else do I do? Take out Haywire, Might, Lauren, and the Skyclaves. That looks right. I probably want one of these over something, probably a Skyclave over a Gta. I think the rest looks about right though. Kind of a six card hand. It's like a decent, it's a decent six card hand, but I don't think it's, maybe, maybe we, maybe this is keepable. This cauldron is very annoying. But swords into spirit and to hopefully draw a third lands to have sash plus. Yeah, I think, I think that we keep this actually. It took me a second to get there, but. Sash is a really good card. Not quite what I was hoping for. But it does resolve. Okay, good. I was hoping it was troll and not in tomb. <laughs> I can live with the troll. Yeah, this is fine. Beautiful.
I'm just going to take a hit from this troll, assuming this sash even resolves. But if this sash resolves, I'm just going to eat their Misty while they don't have Bowmaster mana up. And then I'll Swords the troll after that. Never mind. Jonata Bali. Hope I got that right. Uh, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, they push. That's weird to me, but in a, I'm fine with it. I'm surprised that they didn't just let... Their hand must just be like full of cantrips, I guess. Because I don't know why they wouldn't just let the sash resolve and then push it. Mm, okay. Well, now we have this problem, but we have a recruiter to solve it. One fewer construct is sad, but it's a cost I'll pay to not die. And the Merktide makes those plays make a bit more sense because they were specifically trying to fill their yard for Merktide. Fourth lands, that was the one they got. Yeah, both those are the lands they played off of Merktide's Hardcast Grief, Animate Dead. Okay, Animate Dead's fine. Did I board out the Haywire Might? Now I don't remember. I think I might have. Oh, we're keeping that on top, that's for sure. Oh, I should have kept the portico untapped in case I still have Haywire Might. I don't think that I do, though. No, I don't. Um... I think I just get Cage here. Get Cage, they can't reanimate anything else. Put Yorian in my hand next turn. Pitch it to Solitude to answer the troll. I feel like I'm gonna be in pretty good pretty good shape after that. Shuffled off the ponder, and the cast is brainstorm. They are digging. Ouch. And they shuffled off that ponder too. A land is good because it means that we now get to do this solitude around days. Cool. All right. A lot of life to chip through with this, but I can live with that. Especially they pitched, yeah, they pitched a Brazen Borrower to the Force of Will too, which means that that's one fewer Cage Answer in their deck. There's another Merc Tide. Gross. I 
Need something good, need something good. That's not what I need. I'll cast it, but it is not what I need. I have one more draw step. Still have one more draw step. Oh, please resolve, please resolve, please resolve. Oh my God. Opponent, if you have a second Bowmasters, I will never forgive you. Yeah, you can grief my calls or whatever. All right, it's starting to come up us. Now, what is this recruiter getting? How's our graveyard looking for Scarab Swarm? I see one, two, three, four. We would make five tokens. And turn off any of their reanimation. Or I guess that it's already turned off because of Cage. Um, yeah, once something like Cage is in play, it's really hard to lose once we just have all the blockers. So I think I'm just going to get Scarab Swarm here. If we had a fifth mana already in play, I would be more enticed to get Solitude. But since we don't, yeah, I'll just get Scarab Swarm because we can cast it right away. I'm not going to attack with anything. I just want to be able to block, especially when I'm about to cast the Swarm. I could maybe attack with Wisp, but that's the only one I'm interested in attacking with. A lands to play a Scarab Swarm around days would be nice. Deck's really listening to me. That's Hardcast Force. Ah, I was maybe supposed to Wasteland because of Hardcast Force. Damn. I think I have to start attacking with Wisp now. We can basically trade off our our boards here if we need to. And actually, we not even trade off, because if we double block Grief with Construct and the Containment Priest, that's like the only attack Grief does, and then we still have an X2 in play to block Bowmasters for forever. And we don't really need the Containment Priest in play because we already have the Cage. So I think is this this Recruiter in play isn't really valuable anymore. I think I'm just supposed to block with it. They could have a second Bowmasters to force this to be a full trade. If they do that, annoying, but I'll live. So they'll have one one bowmaster and a two two orc army. So I'll just go back to not attacking. And I just need to draw like any creature. That's not a creature. <laughs> um, 
I'm going to wasteland them to keep them off of a hard cast troll, maybe. How many trolls have they gone through? They've gone through two. Yeah, I'll keep them off a hard cast troll. I cannot can't draw GTA because I boarded it out. I'll take one hit from this at least. Ugh. They don't wasteland me though. That means that must mean hard cast force again. Ugh. Probably can't beat Hardcast Force. Or at least we need to stop drawing a lance in order to do that. Okay, well, I'm going to take the trade this time. Um, I can fetch once and that won't change the math on anything. Okay, mom resolves. That's something. Okay. Got one more draw step. What do you got for me, deck? My opponent really should be wastelanding me here because now Solitude's in out when it shouldn't be. Ah, <sighs> brutal. Two early Merc Tides to just use all of my resources was really rough. Doodle, huh? All right, on the play. Nope, not that one. Uh, I can live with this one. Let's put back a fetch land here. When Saga hit third chapter, one line would have been the float mana get drummed to hard cast solitude. That was when I was that the was that when I was planning on putting Yorion in my hands to evoke it the next turn against like a troll. Yeah, I think the I think the reason that I'm less it, I probably should have thought about that. I think the reason I'm less excited about it is it sort of puts us in a spot where, like, they have, once we have, like, no graveyard hate in play in that spot, like, they have a lot of really potent top decks that worry me a bit. Um, I don't know. It's definitely worth thinking about, though. A raucous theater. That's not the land I expected to get fetched off of Scalding Tarn. Goblin Welder. Okay, that's what's going on. Got it, got it, got it.
Yeah, before. If I knew I was drawing Priest, I definitely like that line. It was a little annoying when I got Priest after that, but yeah. Okay, okay, uh huh. I have the option to pick your poison there, Saga. I would have to sacrifice one construct to do it. Um, that might be worth it, though. Oh, they're going to cast a Fable? Hmm. Now I'm less sure. This is a spot where I'm sincerely considering swords on this shaman token. Um, so I think if I'm swordsing, then I think I am also using pick your poison. Um, maybe I'm wrong about that, but I like making them choose between saga and fable, I think is important. I'm guessing it means that the fable goes. Um, and they just take up the saga. I guess the sort of the problem there is it means that they're ahead on the saga war and I'm sacrificing a construct to do that. So maybe that's not worth it. I guess one way to look at it is maybe I just let myself get constructs to keep pace with them, and then I can pick your poison, the fable, after it flips if I need to. But I think I want to kill this shaman token so they don't, so they stay, don't get so ahead on mana. Not sure if any of this is right, but we're gonna try that. I guess also worth noting we can get a mite off of this saga. That kind of fixes things too a little bit. They pitch Ballista, which means that they are definitely a... They're definitely the Cauldron deck and not Painter. Although some some lists will play Cauldron in Painter also, but I don't think they would have Walking Ballista if they were doing that. Okay. Well, that kind of works for me because... Okay, uh-huh. Yeah, let's get a savanna now, because that'll make things less complicated. All right, make a construct. Can I draw like a Skyclave or a Lauren here? That would make a lot of my decisions pretty, like a lot easier. Hey, it's a Skyclave, what do you know? Um, Curious if they use their cauldron in response to this in case I have a needle in my deck. They do. That is 
totally fine by me. Um, I guess maybe I was supposed to skyclave the cauldron in response to that activation so that the welder wouldn't have a plus one plus one counter on it. Um, I don't think that's going to end up mattering really though. Um, So I'm going to attack with this construct. Man, this is so many targets for so many of my things. Made this very tricky. Okay, so I think what I want to do is Skyclave the Cauldron right now before it can untap again. Um, and then if we're doing anything else, we might, we might, might the Urza Saga. Um, but I at least want to do this before it untaps, take that ability away from Welder. I'm curious if they will use this to ping the might. If they do that, then we'll hit the Urza Saga. They do. Okay. Yeah, we'll hit the Urza Saga. And then we can... Pick your poison the fable after it flips. Okay. That took an eternity, but we figured it out. Oh. Uh uh oh. I guess we'll see if this is a problem. Yeah, it's a filer. Okay. Nothing to really do about that one, unfortunately. That was just the best follow-up they could have. And yeah, they take the vial. That makes sense. I'm going to have them sacrifice an enchantment for sure. And unfortunately, we might just super die to this defiler anyway. Um, I'm going to put Yorian in my hand here. Because they can, they sure can weld it back twice a turn for the rest of the game. It is an end to the battlefield and die trigger, yes. Chaos Defiler is pretty messed up.
Okay, we have a shot now. If they try to weld now, then we have a shot. If they don't, then we're dead. Actually, maybe we're okay. I like always forget that engineer can't actually get back the chaos defiler. So this might actually be fine. I think it's probably easy for it to get not fine very quickly, but we might actually be okay, at least for a little bit. Okay, another cauldron, okay. Uh, oh, right, yeah, they can sack it, which is at least one half of what it needs to do anyway, yeah. I would feel better about that if I had one more mana in play. But let's attack and see what they do. We just have to let that happen. Okay. I agree that they should have just been defiling as much as possible. All right, so that if they weld it here, then I guess maybe they won't. Because they don't have to yet. But I am going to stone forge for Lion Sash. Um, I'm going to hold that in my hand. They're probably going to weld the petal into the defiler. They'll kill one more thing, and then I'll solitude it. And in no way do I feel ahead in this game, but at least it starts being playable again. Yeah, okay. Comes into play. You can kill one of my things. Teru True, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Okay. I don't feel good about this. But we might 
be able to live. Actually, we do now need we need an answer for this fable right now, or we die next turn. Uh, sorry, that's a lie. Because I have this ash. That's not great, but we're technically still alive. Although they might be able to weld stuff back and forth enough that even Sash isn't enough, unless we draw another mana. Um, I just have to take that, unfortunately. It's a lot of damage. Uh, um, Scarab doesn't buy us time, unfortunately. Like as it stands, we are we are going to be dead either to their board or even if we were somehow able to put enough blockers into play, we would be dead to them. Making a copy of Engineer to find Phyrexian uh, uh, Devourer, um, and then they uh, words, and then they just weld it from there, and then we die. Or not weld it, they, uh, what is the word I am trying to think of? They will cauldron it, and even if we have Sash in play, they have multiple creatures that can weld the, <laughs> weld the the cauldron and the devourer back and forth to have multiple chances to exile it. Um, these all seem right. It's a lot of saga bullets, but they'll all be relevant at different times, I think. Cage is probably the weakest, but I think it's still probably worth keeping. Um, cards we don't want are the spirits and the thalias. Those are all bad. And then we need to cut one more card after that. We don't have a lot of bad cards after that, unfortunately. Um, hmm. I don't love GTA in the matchup, but I think it's important for keeping the welders in check. Um, hmm. This is tough. I guess I could... No, no, I want Containment Priest. They're a Fable deck. Um... Maybe I just don't bring in Cage. Yeah, I'll not bring in Cage. Uh, Pick Your Poison's been... It was a lot better last time I played it than it was tonight, but we've played against some weird decks tonight. Um, it's annoying having Needle in my, in my opener because I don't know what I want to name with it, but I could just Needle on Saga on turn one. And then, but I don't know if I want to do that when I have a wasteland in my hand anyway. So I think I'm just going to keep, just going to hold it. Give us, anyway, uh, pick your poison feels good. It's versatile. It comes in, in a lot of matchups. Um, I really wanted to test it against up, the, uh, like B 
Beans decks in particular, um, but have yet to play against them with this Saga build, <laughs> annoyingly, so... Slam in cauldron. Interesting. Well, I could needle cauldron, but we'll see. I'm gonna surveil first because I know I don't want to land, so that works. So one possible play is Wasteland and then Needle Cauldron, but I think I just want to Stoneforge for Cauldra first. Jamie, man, if I have spells of the squirrel today, hell yeah. My wife was at that event as well. Sounded like a really cool event, and I'm really hoping to get to one. Whatever Sarge's next event like that is, I hope I get to go to it. Oh, yay, what's up? Hey, thanks for reaching out. I hope your match was good. It sounded like it was, but it's a scary matchup. Lightning Bolt. Okay. Okay, I feel better just sky claving the cauldron then. They know to exile my lands, but I want to. I want my Scarab Swarm to be big. I'm glad. I'm glad. Still no Saga, happy about that. Another Cauldron, that's illegal. Uh-oh. Are we getting bow mastered here? Probably should have considered that. Oh well. Uh no, it only gives um the cauldron only gives the abilities of creatures you exile with it, not any other card. It does not turn, the, the exiling a land doesn't turn your bow masters into fetch lands. Yes, Grist, in fact, is a cheater. Their illusion can put an equipment into play. It's broken. I'm dead. I should have needled the cauldron. I was thinking about it. But I was like, I don't know if this is gonna matter, but yeah, they they engineer me and I'm dead. Cool. Oops. It's a very awkward draw. 
Well, I was on a roll with this deck. Makes sense that we'd get get owned. Uh, so the combo here, I'll, I'll bring up the cards. It's um, doo -doo -doo. so the important card here is Phyrexian Devourer. It is oh my god, give me a Scryfall. Phyrexian Devourer. So when you exile this card with Agatha's Soul Cauldron. So Soul Cauldron, you exile a creature card from your graveyard, give one of your creatures a plus one plus one counter, and any creatures you have with plus one plus one counters have the abilities of creatures exiled with Cauldron. Phyrexian Devourer has this fun ability where you exile the top card of your library and Devourer or, you know, the creature that has this ability gets plus one plus one counters equal to the card that you exiled's CMC. With Phyrexian Devourer, it's balanced around the static ability where if its power is seven or greater, you just sacrifice it. But Agatha's Cold Soul Cauldron only copies activated abilities, not static abilities. So it just means every creature that you have in play with a plus one plus one counter can be as big as the sum of the CMC of the rest of your deck at any point. Uh, so they attacked me with two creatures with plus one plus one counters, and even if I had one removal spell, which I had none, uh, they just go go to damage, they mill until they have lethal with one creature, and then I'm dead. One of the many very cool things that that Cauldron deck can do. I played it on stream, actually. Uh, probably like a month ago at this point. I don't remember exactly, but anyway. Well, not the best night. We did play... Uh, we did not draw very many sagas tonight. <laughs> Is something I'm thinking. Uh, it just... We drew like three total, maybe four. I don't remember. It wasn't very many. Um, so I feel like we didn't really get the saga half of the deck. We just got the part of the deck that the half of the deck that do doesn't have black cards in it, basically. Um, and we didn't really get to evaluate pick your poison because we just kind of died. So unfortunate night, but hey, we we've been rolling pretty well lately, so I can't be too upset. Um, and we also ended that league relatively early, so we're going to pick it up with some art game for at least a little while. Um, I know this one. Is this Celestial Regulator? It's from it's from Streets of New Campena, and it's the it's like a one blue white flyer that. It, it basically puts like a stun counter on something if I remember right. Um, or it's like, it no, it's tap a creature if you have a permanent or a creature with a counter on it, then it doesn't untap basically. Nice. Cool. Choose target creature you don't control and tap it. If you control a creature with a counter on it, it doesn't untap it. Yeah, cool. Perfect. Nailed it. Um. Oh, and if you haven't played our game before, uh, if you know the card, I'm I'm not playing alone. This is for everybody. Uh, if you know the card, throw it in the chat. If you don't know the card, feel free to joke about it in the chat. The only thing I ask is if you definitely a hundred percent know what the name of the card is, just indicate it to me in some way in the message because it is really hard for me to tell the difference between a joke and a real answer in the chat. This art looks familiar. It's pretty new. Um, I am guessing that it's a Neo card, but I'm not going to know what Neo card is. Uh, so I'll give it like 15, 20 seconds if anybody has a suggestion on what the name of this card might be.
Looking pretty quiet in the chat. Fire Jailer, man. I like it. I like it. I'm going to do Ogre. I'm pretty sure, well, maybe it might be an Oni. I don't know. Siege Breaker Giant. It is not from Neo at all. It's just a random giant from a random corset. Okay. Ooh, this is a this is a limited pump spell from Scars, if I remember right. I think it might just be like plus one plus one in first strike. I, I'm pretty sure that that is the, that's the Oracle text, or it's going to be something very close to that, but I don't remember what the name of this card is, which makes me feel like a failure because I'm pretty sure it gives first strike. <laughs> I feel like I'm obligated to know the name of every card with first strike in it somewhere. All right, if you got something better than this, tell me in 10 to 15 seconds. I do know the text of Lance. It is white, give a creature first strike. It's just, it's a one mana aura. Seize the initiative, that's what the, that, yep. There we go, all right, was I right? Yes. Okay. I was right on the entire the entire text. Um yeah, Katie and I actually had an alpha lance at one point. <laughs> we sold it, but it was really cool to own it for a little bit. Uh this looks like an old card. Looks like it might be a dragon, could be a spirit. I don't know. This is not Spirit of the Night. I can't say that I can visualize Spirit of the Night just in my head, but I know I would recognize it, and this is not it. Almost like Mist Dragon. That sounds like a card that exists. I believe it. I'll put in Mist Dragon, but not quite. And uh, if you have a better name, oh, excuse me. Got 15 seconds. Yeah, I'm usually not that very good at the draft cards. I only know this one because Scars was a set that I opened a lot specifically because that's about when I started. I started in World Wake, so Scars was the first, like, it was the first, first set of a block that I played. Adarkar Windform. Cold Snap. Huh, okay, neat. Uh, where are the easy cards? They're somewhere in here, sometimes. Uh, this is... This is a draw card spell, right? It's a reprint of Deep Analysis? That doesn't sound right. Curiosity is more what I was thinking. Oh, is, is this? I thought, sorry, I thought you said this is a reprint of Deep Analysis. Curiosity is very believable to me, and that seemed, that, I can visualize that now. I'm pretty sure I agree with you. That's right. Yeah, cool. Right, that is the Innistrad art. There we go. 
So right. Uh, no clue on this one. I also thought that actually. <laughs> um, I'm, yeah, I'm not really sure. It's kind of giving me like latest Innistrad sets vibes, but that doesn't seem quite right. I don't know. I mean, Elf with Evil Shadow is what we got. I'll take, I will take submissions for the next 10 seconds or so. It is not Tree of Perdition, or I would put that in. Deathbringer Liege. Oh, is this some... Yeah, okay. Just the double masters, dumb reprint art. That's fake. I've really got to figure out how to do art game <laughs> with only the first printing. Uh, Driver of the Dead? Driver of the Dead? That's what this card is, right? Spinning the dial on Innistrad Limited card and looking back at the chat for approval. <laughs> yeah, Deathbringer Liege was this game. If 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 that was the original art, a hundred percent would have gotten Deathbringer Liege. All right. Cool. Driver of the Dead got there. Looks invasion-y. And that is all that I know about it. Well, I shouldn't say know about it. That's all I can think about it. Strength of unity. Strength of unity. <laughs> It's funny that it says Strength of Unity when there is only one creature, I guess. I understand the, you know, the mechanics and the flavor behind it, but it is funny that, like, it's just one dude. <laughs> oh, this is... Uh, is this the... The rare cons red X burn spell craters craters claws yeah that's what I was thinking the arena art that used to have Noah Bradley art got it yeah that that makes sense yeah okay this is what I recognized that I was like this is so similar it feels like it has to be a reprint or something but no this that makes sense Classic, no, not Hero of Iros. No, it's not Hero of Iros. It's 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 the her fabled hero. There we go. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is the heroic card with double strike. There we go. This is obviously, it like looks like it would be a card in a cycle, but it's not. I obviously know it's not Liliana's Triumph. Uh, yes, Price of Betrayal. Yeah, that is what it is. 
Yep, yep, yep. Right, it's the remove counters card. <laughs> this art looks kind of funny, but I don't know what it is. Just some some dudes in town being like, yo, look at all these devils and shit. What's up? It's just like... Is this a, a Ravnica card? Like, they're in a city. This looks like a bunch of Rakdos idiots just, like, making a move. Having a bar crawl or whatever. I can't really figure out the flavor of these guys, though, because I don't really think that, like, it's it's hard to tell what guild they are in, and I feel like there aren't very many Ravnica cards that are abstract or like vague about like where it's happening. They usually signpost those things like really aggressively. A Ravnica reprint of a portal card. Now that that's a trivia clue right there. I would think about it harder if I knew what cards were in Portal. Portal 2? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I got nothing. It's also in Starter 99. There were there were there a lot of cards shared between Portal 2 and Starter 99 or am I making that up? I feel like I've seen a lot of cards just like in random scryfall searches that happen to be in both, but I don't know if I'm making a pattern out of nothing. Anyway, does anybody have a name? Because I, I, I got nothing. Righteous Charge. Interesting. Gate Crash. All right. It's an equipment. What do I get for knowing that? This looks very new-ish. The trees in the back are making me think that it was in a recent Zendikar set. But if there was an if there was an equipment in Zendikar Rising. I don't remember what it was at all. So I'll need I'll need chat's help on this one for sure. You know what? I'll put it in. Here's your blade. Get, give 10 seconds for anybody to give me a better answer than that. Hell yeah, there we go. Okay, it's from Battle for Zendikar. That's even further away. Got it. Okay, uh, this one's easy. This one's Imperial Recruiter. Um, we're going to do a few more, and then we'll... Then I'm going to have to get out of here and get to bed. Uh, this is from Amonkhet. It's a cycler. I think it's a common one that's like a 5-4 or something. Um, like cycles, from, cycles for a black. 
It's like a five mana five four or something. Horror, yeah, horror of the broken lands. Yep. Yeah, it was once in Living End. Yep. There we go. This looks like a Jeskai card. Like a not not a card that costs Jeskai, but in the Jeskai flavor from cons. Boon Weaver Giants. Got it. Oh, this is one of the first in the first charm cycle, right? Vision charm. Yeah, that makes sense. It looks like it was gonna be blue. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh Eldrazi are going on here. But that's all I got. Can't of the Eldrazi cards I can think of that aren't all huge creatures. I can't think of this one. Ruins of Orin Reef. That makes so much sense. Yep. Yep. All right, we're gonna do like two more, and then we'll then we'll call it. Skrull's not a bad, not a not a bad guess, but yeah, you could, hard to tell how well, how clearly it comes through on the stream, but it was it was definitely Eldrazi. I just didn't know, couldn't tell what card there was on. Yeah, the art looks this this art looks vaguely familiar, but I don't know, not really get anything. I would just put in Volcanic Drake as a guess if I was, you know what? Here, I'll put in Volcanic Drake. Uh, Give 10 seconds for, this, for for a better answer on this one. There is at least a volcano pictured. I'll switch to dragon. Spawn of... Oh, yeah. Spawn of Thraxes. Yeah. Once I heard the name, I was like, yeah, of course. I was never going to get that myself, but. What are these fucked up looking things? Probably from my choreo. The thing that knew Cascades for four. Okay, so it's from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. I'm not going to get the name of that. Walk with the ancestors. All right, cool. Oh yeah, re re regrowth discover four. That seems pretty good, honestly. All right, one bonus one. This is a cipher card. It's it's not the mere guild mage. It's a cipher card. Um, it's like four mana, and it's a rare, but I don't remember the name or. Oh, it's just Dusk Mantle Guild Mage? I really thought this was a spell. But I must be going crazy. No, okay, you're right. Alright, I'm gonna do a quick search for the card I'm thinking of. Uh It's Whispering Madness. Whispering Madness was the card I was thinking of.
Yep, and that was it. All right, well, it is now getting late. We've had, had a good art game. I am going to take off. I'm going to go to my outro screen here. Uh, thank you, everybody, as always, for watching me. Uh, if you're new, especially, Lash Knife Barrier, th thank you, thank you. Um, if you're new, uh, I stream every Thursday and Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'm basically always playing some version of Death and Taxes in Legacy. Uh, it's my favorite deck in the whole wide world. Uh, these are all of the places you can find me. Um, follow me on Twitter. I have a Patreon with lots of benefits, including a uh, sideboard guide and a list for DNT that is updated monthly. Uh, you're already here on Twitch. And uh, if you missed any of this VOD and want to check it out, it'll all be uploaded to YouTube overnight. Um, I'm going to take a very quick glance at whether there's anybody out there to raid. And after that, we will be off. Have not had the best luck with other legacy streamers around this time, which is probably why a lot of you are here. But thank you for coming here. Uh, yeah, it looks like we don't really have a lot here. So I think we're just going to call it. All right. Thank you, everyone. I hope you all have a good night, and I hope that you join us next time. I will see you on Thursday.